Welcome to Stop Fake, the place where we uncover disinformation about Ukraine and set the record straight. I'm Andriy Savchuk, and I'm delighted to present this week's edition. Among the fakes this week we present, a dubious poll claims European and US support for the annexation of Crimea. Kiev City Council to completely ban Russian. Who tore down Russian flags in Spain? And did a Ukrainian diplomat really say that Kharkiv and Odessa will meet Russian tanks with flowers? That's this week's edition of Stop Fake News. So let's get to it. On the eve of the second anniversary of Russia's illegal annexation of Crimea, official Russian publications RT and Raya Novosti publish stories claiming that one in three Europeans consider Crimea Russian. RT writes that Russia's Sputnik news agency ordered a poll from the British populace and French IFOP research companies, and the results revealed that a quarter of Americans and a third of Europeans considered the Crimean Peninsula to be a part of Russia. There is no mention of the exact questions that were asked in the alleged poll. Stop Fake reached out to both Populous and IFOP to inquire about the methodology used in the poll, what questions were asked, and how many respondents participated in the poll. Neither of the companies answered our inquiry. There is no mention of a Crimea poll on either the Populous nor the IFOP websites. The sites do have information on other polls they conducted. The results of this dubious poll were also published by the sites Lenta.ru, Ruskaya Vesna, Ukraina.ru, and others. The Russian web publication Ukraina.ru published a story claiming that representatives of the Ukrainian capital's government are advocating the exclusive use of the Ukrainian language on the territory of the city. This fake story uses a draft proposal by Kiev City Council member Yuri Serotyuk, in which Serotyuk proposes that Ukrainian be used in city advertising, record keeping, and official communication. There is absolutely no mention of prohibiting Russian in any public or private sphere. Paragraph 3 of the draft decision clearly states that use of other languages is possible on request. According to Ukraine's constitution and the law on languages, every person is guaranteed the right to choose the language he wishes to speak, and no restrictions have ever been enacted limiting that choice. In the beginning of March, the separatist publication Donny Press published a story claiming that a Ukrainian diplomat said the Ukrainian cities Kharkiv and Odessa would meet Russian tanks with flowers. This sentiment was expressed by former Ukrainian Foreign Ministry spokesman Oleg Voloshin, who since 2013 is not involved in official government business. Stop Fake reached out to Mr. Voloshin asking him to explain this claim. I'm simply a foreign policy expert. I left the Ukrainian Foreign Service in 2013 and have nothing to do with official Ukrainian policy, Voloshin replied to Stop Fake's inquiry. Both the Spanish and English language versions of the Donny Press story distorted what I actually said, wrote Voloshin. They completely twisted what I said about Russia. I talked about the fact that Russia had nothing to offer as an alternative to the European Union. Voloshin admits that he did in fact say that a certain Kharkiv and Odessa contingent could greet Russian invaders with flowers. If you read everything that I said in full, I was in fact talking about the possible disintegration of Russia, in particular that Russia is likely to lose Chechnya sooner than it is to gain Kharkiv, Voloshin explained. In early March, several Russian, Ukrainian and Spanish media circulated a story about Russian and Crimean flags being mysteriously removed from the main square in Burgos, the capital of the Spanish Castile and Leon province. This story first appeared on the official Russian news agency RIA Novosti. Later, it was reprinted by Ruski Media Kanal. According to these Russian sites, unknown people tore down Russian and Crimean flags, which were hung on balconies in Burgos Central Plaza Mayor. The Ukrainian site Patriote Ukraine took up the story, implying that Friends of Ukraine caused a small hullabaloo in the Burgos offices of the Friends of Russia by removing the flags. 
According to RIA Novosti, the European Platform Friends of Russia organization hung the Russian and Crimean flags on the balconies of their offices. A Ukrainian immigrant from separatist-occupied Luhansk threatened the founder of this organization, Yevgenio Dorado, because of the flags, claimed RIA Novosti. The Spanish site Journal of Galicia and several Spanish Twitter activists reprinted the story, as did the local Burgos newspaper, Diario de Burgos. On February 19, 2015, the first anniversary of the killings of protesters during Ukraine's Maidan Revolution, the European platform Friends of Russia hung the flags in memory of those who died on the Maidan, explained Eugenio Dorado to the Burgos newspaper. He did not accuse Ukrainians of removing the flags. A few weeks later, that same Diario de Burgos solved the mystery of the missing Russian flags. They were removed by the city fire department on the orders of Burgos City Hall. It is forbidden to hang flags on the facades of buildings. Only advertising banners and national flags can be displayed, explained Burgos's mayor, Javier Lacal. That's it for this week. You can always find fresh fakes set straight on the Stop Fake website. Be vigilant, beware of fakes. If you spot any disinformation about Ukraine, send it to us for a truth autopsy. We'll see you next week. I'm Andriy Sochuk and this is Stop Fake. Thanks for watching.